Hello, welcome to poster 594 on Wednesday or Thursday of OHBM 2022, in which we extend an earlier approach for dry rise fMRI decoding to searchlight based analysis. So, in previous work, we have shown that the design matrix of a standard GLM for first level fMRI analysis can be related to the dry wise design matrix using a transformation matrix T, which codes trial-wise experimental conditions or possibly parametric modulators. Under this assumption, it is fairly easy to show that the trial-wise, that the covariance matrix of the trial-wise parameter estimate U is a function of the trial-wise design matrix multiplied with itself and weighted with the scan-by-scan -scan covariance matrix B. In searchlight analysis, instead of decoding from all voxels within a predefined region of interest, we create searchlights, that is spherical volumes containing all voxels around the center voxel, which is then moving through all the voxels in the brain. In a searchlight-based version of this approach, the trial-wise responses from all voxels in the searchlight are described by a multivariate GLM with design matrix T and covariance matrix U, which in fact allows to account for the try by try correlations induced by the hemodynamic response function. Then, inverting this model gives rise to try wise predictions of the experimental design variables. We validate this approach by reanalyzing data from a continuous visual stimulation experiment in which subjects were looking at a stimulus consisting of 48 sectors randomly changing their illumination intensity. These 48 sectors could be categorized with respect to 12 angles and four eccentricity levels. For our decoding analysis, we used a searchlight radius of six millimeter and decoded contrast levels in each of the 48 sectors yielding 48 decoding accuracy maps for each subject. We then performed a repeated measures ANOVA with angle and eccentricity as within subject factors in order to identify above chance decoding accuracy. In this way, we were able to confirm a priori plausible hypotheses about the well understood visual system, for example, stimulus processing in the contralateral hemisphere, mapping of visual field half to medial versus lateral parts of occipital cortex, as well as representation of eccentricity along a posterior anterior axis, and rep representation of angle along a dorsal ventral axis. So, with that, I want to say thank you. And if you want to know more, please come to post that 594 on Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you very much.